Hello everyone, my name is Beyonce Turner. I'm a final year student from the University of Technology, Jamaica, pursuing a bachelor's in applied statistics. Hi everyone, I'm Sydney McDermott, a third year student studying actuarial science at the University of Technology, Jamaica. And today we'll be comparing our majors. What does your major involve? Okay, so actuarial science, it's the use of statistical techniques and principles in order to predict and mitigate risk for clients and businesses. Their role is basically to just measure and minimize risk for both companies and consumers. There is a slight similarity, however, we use like statistical methods to basically make sense of real world data. So, you know, imagine you have this chunk of numbers in front of you, like a normal civilian, they're not necessarily going to understand. So right. it's our responsibility to break that down in the simplest terms so that we can relay what it is saying, right? So we focus on solving a lot of problems in different fields like business, economics, healthcare, just to name a few. So it's very similar to actoral science so far. On a scale of one to 10, how heavy would you say your workload is? That's a complicated question because it really depends on the courses that you're doing each semester. So as I said, actoral science has a wide mix of different subjects. So take the courses under the School of Maths and Statistics, for example. Those courses are typically the lightest because the way they're structured is it's two mid-semester tests, each worth 25%. And then the final, you can relate, the final exam is 50%. In general, it would be a 6.5. I know that some people would disagree with me, but it's not too bad, but you know that there is still stuff to do depending on the courses that you're doing. How about you? I would say seven out of 10. But as you said, a lot of people might disagree, but I think there's a perfect balance between theory and mm -hmm. applying, like using the software and stuff. What types of careers are possible from your major? Okay, so when people hear statistics, first thing they to come to their mind, statistician, right? But it's not like the only field. I personally entered this field to be a data analyst. Mm -hmm. well, of course, you have business analysts, market intelligence analysts, like, this call it any type of analyst, but you're more like financial, right? The two primary careers associated with the degree are an actuary and a financial analyst. So if you decide to become an actuary, then you'd have to do the qualifying exams with a board of examinations like the Society of Actuaries or the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. But as I said, the degree as it relates to, it's very analytical in nature. So the knowledge and the skills that you learn while completing the degree, they're so valuable in so many different industries. So you're not limited to being an actuary or a financial analyst. The, the options are huge. What's a surprising thing that you've learned about your major that you didn't expect? Okay, this might be a bit controversial, but a surprising thing I learned is that you don't have to be a genius to do actuarial science because signing up for this program, I was concerned for myself because I'm not a genius. So I'd say just don't be intimidated by the degree. If it's something that you actually want to do, then just challenge yourself and do it. Okay, how about you? Well, I'll actually steal your point here. I do. When I tell people I do statistics, they look at me like I'm crazy. Cause you know, why are you studying something math made? But really and truly, I've realized that it opens their creative, your creative ways, right? So like, it's my responsibility. I'm going to use this term like, imagine an adult talking to a child with some big words and you're not gonna expect them to understand. So I'm going to break down this data and put it in the simplest terms so you can understand. So you have to be creative in how you conclude the data, your findings and everything so that they can grasp what you're saying. So that's it for comparing our measures. I learned a lot. So did I. We have, we have a lot in common actually. 
birthday. So that's it. Thank you for watching.